What's going down, guys? My name is Jeff, otherwise known as Evans, on this channel. And I'm here today with my first After Effects tutorial. So, this tutorial will be on screen pumps. And if you guys saw the preview before the, the tutorial started, then you kind of have, a, have the gist of what the edit's looking like. So, I'm going to teach you how to do screen pumps, really simple screen pumps, and stuff like that. So... I just have a color correction pre-made and it's invisible. That's what it looks like. Obviously, you guys saw the edit before, but um, so yeah, I just have it all synced up. I have it synced up on my own. I'm just gonna teach you how to sync the screen pumps, like how to do it, what I prefer using, like settings-wise for screen pumps and stuff like that. So let's get started. So we're going to go to waveform on the audio. You're gonna drop everything down and go down to audio waveform, and you will see these little um ticks on the the audio those are those are beats that's a beat right there and that's since I have a really simple song to sync with um it shouldn't be too hard for me but some songs you have to be really uh, really uh you have to pay attention a lot to notice like where you're going to put the screen pumps and stuff like that so yeah just be aware of that it's always good to RAM preview your songs, and so we're going to disable the video and just listen to the audio to find out where where we're going to be screen pumping at. So let's see. Right there. We'll set a marker there. There's another one. And if you guys don't know how to set markers, you just, press, you just hold shift and press a number on your keyboard. And obviously it only goes up to nine, but... You just keep repeating it anyway, so let's see. And we're back. So I did all this little, all the little markings for the sync, and now we're ready to get into the screen pumps. So now that you got your markers set, now you're ready to do the screen pumping. So what you're going to do is for each of these little ones. So for uh, if you wanted to go to this this marker, you just hit one on your keyboard, like I did right here. And then, now that we're at one on your keyboard, this is where the screen pumping begins. So, we're going to go to, we're going to drop down the, the layer right here, the composition, and we're going to go to transform, and you're going to see these different options like anchor point, position, scale, etc. And so, what we're going to be working with today is scale for the most part. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to use what the, what's called a keyframe. And what this does is, if you keyframe it, and you go ahead like one space and go to like 110 you'll see the scale pumps a little bit and that's what we're going to be using for the the edit so i hope you guys know how what keyframing is already before you start watching my tutorials but if you haven't then now you kind of get the gist of it so we're going to go to the marking right here and we're going to go back one frame we're going to click keyframe and we're going to go ahead one frame and you can do that by double click double pressing the uh, space bar and we're gonna go to like 115. That's a pretty good clean keyframe or uh, scale for me, anyways. I think, in my opinion, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to two. We're now that we're on two, we go back one frame and we set it to 100 again, so it goes back to normal. And if you do this so many times, then you then on two you would double press space to go to the the marker, and then you do the same thing, and you just do that with all the So yeah, so you go to four. Oh wait, we go back to three, and then we bring this back to one fifteen. Go to four. Uh, go back one frame. Head one frame, one fifteen, and you can use all your own settings right here. I just choose to use uh, use one fifteen. I don't. I just like the look of what what it looks like. I mean. It's all personal preference. Whatever you think makes your edit look the best is what you should do. And we'll go to like 10 seconds to finish off the edit. So if you, if you watch this, it'll be all screen pumpy. Really, really clean. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on screen pumping. Very simple, a f very simple effect that uh, definitely makes your edit stand out a bit more. 
than just having a synced edit. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed the uh, tutorial, or if you're going to plan be planning on using this tutorial in any way, shape, or form, just help me out by click clicking the like button, maybe subscribing for future tutorials, and uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.